I have Craig here who's just finished my nine shot slot program over nine weeks. And basically, I just want to ask you, Craig, a few questions. Uh, number one, what were you feeling like? What what actually made you think, you know what, I'm going to sign on for this program or at least have a chat to Paul about whether I'm a good fit for it? What kind of feelings were you having? Because I think we just discussed what, what that was like. What what would you describe your situation three months back? There, there were a couple of things. So I was embarrassed. I thought it was going okay. I'm getting a little bit older. I've got time on my side. I've got friends who play golf. And I've gone to, I've got, I've got a lesson. I've got a couple of lessons. And they didn't resonate. I've gone to Melbourne to play golf with a good friend of mine. And I was, I was absolutely embarrassed. I walked away. We got beaten by two 80-year-olds, and there's no shame in that. But I couldn't get off the tee. I couldn't chip, and I couldn't home. And I was so frustrated. I got home, and I thought, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I've got the golf clubs. I've got all the gear, and I'm done. And then this friend in Melbourne said, Craig, you're miles away. You're miles away. You need to find a different path because the advice you're getting isn't right. So I Googled, and I Googled Paul. I came up and... What was your first? I remember you telling me this when you were reading, uh, you know, fifteen hundred bucks for nine weeks, and it's nine shots guaranteed. I think you told me this guy sounds like he's full shit. Well, <laughs> something I mean, along those lines. Well, the, the, ta- the, the guarantee got me. The, yeah, not because not because I want to act on the guarantee. The guarantee got me because Paul's invested. There's That's actually skin. There's actually skin in the game because to me, just going to the driving range and learning how to swing better hasn't solved the problems. So the thing with Paul too, he was also flexible. I, I said to him, look, I want to look and see. So we, we part payment first. And the difficulty for Paul, and it's like lots of businesses, it's hard to show the value at the front end. So we clicked and I and it, it took ages for me to get my head around. This is a different approach. This is a vastly different approach from banging balls at pins and getting your hands in a different position and, and those sorts of things. It, and it, it's challenging. It's mentally challenging. It was, yeah. And, but, but what I started to learn was, was basically to break this down into a different way to think about my game. Hmm. Now, we've ended up coming from two different sides. I've, <laughs> I've sort of got what I wanted, which is to swing better. It was part of it, yeah. But, but, but Paul kept saying, Craig, it's two-thirds, one-third. It, it's short game, low-hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah, Paul, this is boring. Let's go bang balls. <laughs> but, but he won. And he's right. Mm. And, and, and it was part of the uh, conditions as well, like any good guarantee is there's conditions, and that is you have to do what I ask you to do for five weeks. But not, not necessarily what you had been doing for so long. But the other thing, that that worked, the other thing I worked at is to and I run. Yeah. I can't just run 10 Ks by running once a week. I can't just go play golf and, and hit a bucket of balls before I go out. Exactly. So this takes time. It takes commitment. So I'm, I'm, I've made a financial commitment to Paul, but I've made a financial commitment to myself. Mm. So Thanks. I've said to Paul at our first discussion, I'm going to hold him accountable. He, so, and, I, and I'm going to challenge him mm. to do the job that, he, that I'm paying him to do, and he's done it. And that's probably in the golf industry that I've been in for a long time. That's the thing that's missing is the coaches and the instructors don't have that accountability. They'll give you a lesson and say, there's the knowledge where you go, good luck, and they're not responsible for your results. At all. Whereas this, it's like, okay, I know that if you were turning up and you're doing all the work and um, I'm not doing my side of things, then, you know, that's just not fair on you either. So... It's, it's trying to get more like what everyone's ever done in a, a football or a team environment where there's accountability on everyone and the coach is the number one person who gets sacked if the results aren't there. And so it's becoming a results-based coach and that's hopefully what you've got ahead of How would you say you are now? What's the biggest things that you feel about your golf game now? In fact, you played with a few mates yesterday, didn't you? And was yeah. it, what, Did you feel embarrassed? That was the big word I just got out of all that. No, I wasn't. I, and I've said to Paul, I, I actually don't feel embarrassed anymore. Yeah. I actually feel like a golfer. Whereas I played three months ago with my son and, and two guys in, in comp, and I spent five minutes apologising for my golf before we'd even teed off. Yeah, that's but pretty hard, isn't it? There's, there's no, there's no need to do that. No, and, that, and that's that's a mind change for me, and I'm and it's not that I'm insecure, but it's just a game I haven't been able to master. Yeah. Now, now I and as some son said to me the other day, Dad, it's a game of handicap. Mm-hmm. Everybody's equal based on handicap. So I played yesterday with two guys off eleven and a guy off nineteen. I played fairly well. Even today, I played with Paul. I didn't score well, but I played well. And, and I walked away, and I'll still walk away with that emotion that I've played well and I feel like I, I can improve in this game and continue to improve and enjoy this game. That's the beauty is that, you know, what I saw out there today, yeah, you didn't score all that great. But, man, I know that just like I want you to become a casino owner as opposed to the punter, I talk about all the time, that the systems and the understanding 
And when I asked you, what do you think just happened then? What caused that bad shot? You're like, you had any answers. And it's like, you're a human being. We're going to make mistakes. Got bruised bad shots all the time as well. Um, but the best part now is you have the systems, you have the awareness, the understanding that uh, this is the direction I need to head in. Plus, you've got all the feedback we've had over nine weeks now. So if you've forgotten something, you can go back and have a look at that. And, so, and it continues on. Today. So the other value, which I wasn't really aware of, was Paul's accessibility. Hmm. So I'm uploading golf cards. I'm sending him notes. And he's sending me notes back. He's reviewing things and, and saying, Craig, I can see this. or that's going well. Or, hey, we need to talk about this. No, he's not available 24-7, but he's available. And I'm getting feedback playing a game of golf somewhere else and Paul's accessible. Yeah, that's golf. Be- kind of before your next game, before your next yeah. practice session, you get your feedback. So, that, so that's, that's keeping that feedback loop very short, which is important that I look at that like a uh, an, an autopilot on a, on a plane that if it starts heading off the ridge, it just bounces you back online again real quick. And that's the idea of a short feedback loop like that. Because if you go, you know, months between lessons, uh, you might just head down a completely wrong path and start it from two days in, you second practice session, and you're like, nah. You didn't get any feedback for months. You better down the wrong path for too long. So the other the other rules Paul has is no TikTok and no YouTube, which I ignored. Um, and, but more importantly, don't listen to your mates. Don't take advice from your mates on the golf course. Yeah. That that is really valuable advice. With the best of intentions, your mates will say, "Mate, no, 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 left hand here, right arm there, aim over to the right." Just messes with you. So you need one source of information, one source of truth, and this is the one. Yeah, to get rid of all the all the overwhelm and just have that kind of real distinct, kind of clear path. Run it through me before you start implementing. <laughs> Thank you for your time, mate. Thanks for coming along. And um, hopefully this is helping some of you out there as well. Good stuff.